E-commerce and digitization have paved the way for talent and innovation and made it easier for brands and startups to reach customers directly. But how do these direct-to-consumer startups build their brands for new age consumers? Let's hear it from Mr. Shashank Mehta, founder of The Whole Truth Foods and Mr. Deep Bajaj, founder of Sirona Hygiene, two startups which are now household names for the customers of today. And also take some inspiration from Mr. Piyush Pandey, CCO Worldwide and EC India Ogilvy, a legend in the space of Indian advertising. Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to Amazon Sambhav 2022. I'm Shashank Mehta, founder and CEO at The Whole Truth Foods, a D2C startup. We are India's first 100% clean label food brand. What that means is that we make food so clean, we can declare each and every ingredient proudly up front. And, a lot, and like a lot of D2C startups, we started our journey by selling on our website and then on Amazon. Now, unlike traditional brands, which were all born and brought up in retail, this ability to sell directly to our end consumers presents many interesting possibilities around brand creation that brands of the past perhaps did not have. And yet, I find many fellow founders struggle with finding the right approach and the right frameworks to think about brand building in this new age where consumers prefer the convenience of buying from anywhere versus the experience of touch and feel. I'm joined here today by another founder of a D2C brand, Deep Bajaj, from the award-winning social startup, Sirona IG. Sirona is known for solving unaddressed, intimate, and menstrual hygiene issues faced by women with their category-defining products like Peabody, Sirona menstrual cups, etc. And together, we are going to talk to one of the biggest legends of the Indian advertising and branding space, Mr. Piyush Pandey. Piyush ji is the... Hi, Piyush ji. Uh, allow me to, while you need no introduction, I'll still say a few words. Uh, Piyush ji is the Chief Creative Officer Worldwide and Executive Chairman for India, Ogilvy, and the man behind some of the most legendary advertisements that we all remember. He's the man behind Dam Laga Ke Haisha, Kuch Khas Hai Hum Sabhi Mein, Googly Oogly Wosh, and, and, and so much more. Uh, welcome, Piyush ji. It's such an honor to be with thank, you today. Thank you so much, partner. Awesome. Piyush ji, uh, Deep and I are going to take turns to ask you some not so tough, but some slightly tough questions. Uh, it's, not, it's not that tough anyway, because <laughs> uh, we are all into a new game. So yeah. you are not an expert as yet, and I'm far behind you. But we have, <laughs> learned, we have learnings that we can share with each other. You can throw out the ones which are useless to you, but think once before throwing it out. You can add to my knowledge as we go along. Um, and I'll share with you as to what I think, what is useful is all yours. Awesome. Actually, that's a great segue into the first question that I had, uh, which is the absolute basic that as a man who's seen and made brands for 40 years, what as per you, is a brand? And has that definition changed in the D2C internet age? I believe, and I've always said this, and I've said it in my new book also right now, that I don't work for the client. I work for the consumer. And uh, anyone who's followed that, whether in the mass media advertising space, or in direct space, if you think of the consumer, you will communicate better. Entire, what is common between your business and the businesses of the, of the old, which are continuing to do well, is how can you create affinity? How can you create, um, trust is a very big word. Trust comes from the consumer, not from your saying it. How can you earn the trust? How can you be a person who enters somebody else's space and be welcomed? 
that that is a common thing and i think nothing will change whether you do it by meeting somebody by addressing somebody personally or you go in mass media space where you touch their hearts that is the key thing of course everyone wants to know what are you about but everyone also know or needs to know that you are sincere you are you have a again a word that we'll talk about later that you have a purpose a purpose of making relationships i am not going into larger purposes because that's a topic on its own but my purpose to create a sustainable brand is by having a great relationship with my consumer my client may not like me <laughs> that doesn't matter but if he sees the results he'll start liking me but i better be liked by the consumer brilliant pujji huge fan of yours i've said it a hundred times uh, and thank you for that uh, you know invaluable uh, insight you know customer first so my uh, first question sir is uh, how do you think sir is brand equal to product or is brand equal to category or is it something entirely different you know because i mean how do you come up with kuch uh, khas hai and fabricol ads which have nothing to do with the product per se you know so so certain things um, again the second thing i would like you to keep in mind um, which has benefited me all through my life is respect your audience and their intelligence if he knows the product if he knows that a detergent washes you don't have to take him to your research lab and tell him how you made it uh the difference between a product and a brand is very simple a product a product actually is um delivery of a need a brand is when the product becomes lovable by the consumer that is the only difference between product and brand you can have a transactional product or you can have a product that i go to four sites in your case or um, i go to four shops in the marketplace and if i haven't found that that day i say i wait i'll wait for two days wow that is a brand contrast is better uh and like that's like the aspiration for all of us brand yeah. owners that some day someone will go to a store and say agar ye brand nahi hai to main ja raha hu and and jo sawal aapne pucha and you refer to some of the work that i have done but take the example of asian paints when i wrote uh, har ghar kuch kehta hai i did not know at that point of time but i knew that i was writing something meaningful to the people so it has become their business philosophy agar har ghar kuch kehta hai to fir then i will say it in the kitchen also i'll make kitchen accessories so and that amit singhal says himself that that has become my introduction of new products in that home beyond paint so this is what happens that you created such a lot of brand love with understanding people ki yaar yeah, my house is a reflection of my personality then somebody keeps adding more things that you require in the house it, it was it is now become much bigger than and i'll be honest then i conceived it to be i have a small follow on to that before i move on to my next question was it tough selling har ghar kuch kehta hai to the client at that it time? is the easiest moment of my life <laughs> i wow. i sat down and i wrote i only write by hand so you can call me legacy writer but legacy writing is good writing so i wrote it by hand and one piece of work that i did not change a bindi or a matra wow just flew so i called up amit singhal and kbs anand used to be the ceo that time i said what are you doing in your office said, normal regular work i said drop it pick up your car and come to my office wow they came i read it out all three of us had tears in our eyes that was the selling wow beautiful shashank i have to ask yeah similarly on cadbury's dude 
कुछ खास है हम सभी में सर हाउ हाउ डिड दैट है चॉकलेट नो आई मीन यू नो इन दाइल्डेस्ट ड्रीम फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मार्केट हाउ डू सेल चॉकलेट इट हैज द बेस्ट कोको इट हैज द बेस्ट दिस बैड बेस्ट दैट कुछ खास है हम सभी में वॉट आर नर्व लाइक आई रिमेम्बर दैट कैंपेन आई थिंक all of us at some point have 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 cried on that campaign you know? yeah see how was sorry to shank look at the background um the background was that uh, till the 90s we always had uh, the buyer was the parent the consumer was the child and and the parent so when these people grew up and became 15 16 years old their memories were uh, this chocolate was given to me when i did something that my that was good and it was deprived i was deprived when i did not tie my shoelaces so it became a manipulative thing in the minds of the grown ups yet behind the scene they were eating a lot of chocolate of dairy milk they were loving it they didn't want to be seen so the thought came from there that i they have been users they have left me they still love me how do i get them back and uh, there was a uh, concern that if i go to adult then my huge market of children i may lose to which my the thought came to me thank god for that that and i love that thought it just came that time i have always believed in it the theory was there is a child in each one of us so kuch khas hai hum sabhi mein is is a creative rendition of that each one of us has got something something bubbling see growing up curbs you so that's when your parents start saying padosi kya sochega mausi kya sochegi they forget that mausi and padosi both did not have the time to think of you so we brought out the child in every human being the children loved it the adults loved it the market changed overnight amazing amazing uh the pc coming back to the brand you know d2c world of brand creation the new age brands and you know we both been associated me for a slightly smaller time with unilever where uh you know unilever splits the business between home care personal care and foods and if you see the d2c brand space most brands are in the personal care or the food space how, how do you think of brands differently in these two categories if i'm talking personal care versus if i'm talking foods as the ad man on these brands how do you think differently you don't have to you don't really have to i believe that keep your eyes and ears open don't erase your childhood don't erase your memories of living with a household bigger than what you are able to today because people have gone on to their own work gone other days of seven eight people living in the same house but that is my greatest storage space for my work what i was breathing there nothing is changed how your mother addressed food things how she address soaps things the attitude is to run that house and take care of the needs of everyone in the family that is not changed i do not categorize uh, by um, does a consumer think in categories i have never heard of anyone who thinks in terms of categories they think in terms of needs and uh, if we are able to address that if you do it in mass communication and you are able to कैश द पल्स लाइक हर घर कुछ कहता है और कुछ खास है हम सभी में देन इज आर ऑल थिंग्स दैट यू लर्न टू ओवर द इयर्स बट यू थॉट दैट द बुक्स टॉट यू मोर विच इज नॉट ट्रू इट इज द विनर इन ऑल योर गेम इन एवरीबडीज गेम इज नॉट द पर्सन हु रेड द बुक बट द पर्सन हु रेड बिटवीन द लाइन्स deep that was deep sir what about uh, uh, what about concept uh, selling sir you know in in cases where you know that the customer might not even know about the need exists in their life you know when you've been able to make some of these brands uh, 
like timeless, right? Uh, and and they become almost categories synonymous. But what about categories that don't exist? Sir? Like in our case, for example, a female urination device. While the need exists, the category doesn't exist. You know, or a menstrual cup, for example. You know, a need exists, the category doesn't exist. How do you go about thinking about such solutions being offered by D two C brand niche solutions, sir? When you go to the need, your mind is already taking on solutions. See. when somebody thought of the computer the need for communicating was there the need for uh, information was there always you said hello i can do it better it will benefit you you can do this you can do that see then you never create a need so forget that idea you are a smart businessman or a communicator who care who doesn't take research on face value research will give you what's obvious research will give you what is politically correct if you're able to take out what's under the skin that is the need which exists and is not been able to express you give a it is not we are no einstein gabap we have to see what is he not saying but he wants to say it doesn't know how to say it so that is i did not create the need in cadbury's for the adults to eat i pulled out the license that he needed nice wow you see you've been uh, like around in the ad world for so long in the creative world for so long and you you've seen the transition of the storytelling medium what started from radio and audio then moved on to doordarshan then moved on to like cable tv then ipl happened and now the internet is happening uh how has storytelling changed and how does the storyteller need to upgrade himself or herself in terms of skills to adapt to it other doesn't have to fool around with this art of storytelling storyteller has to embrace ways where my story can reach in 20 on 20 vehicles which i only had two for say if you are the consumer you don't you're not a chameleon yet you don't change seven colors in a day <laughs> your heart still bleeds red it is your expressions and your needs that change i don't have to change your personality never do so story don't touch storytelling why are movies like uh, what was that movie those blue characters on the uh, avatar. avatar what is it it is storytelling of the past said in a new way why does a lion king still touch billions of hearts around the world how did technology made lion king 2 but the story was the same story tellers thing is how can i engage so you engage on a holding in a different fashion not like the good old days you put the key frame of my film onto the holding hey hello use the holding accordingly and on this holding i'll digress a little bit uh, but tell you a great story i spoke in bhopal earlier this year to ci members from madhya pradesh plus some ministers who are in the front row and they said uh, you know um what is your take on government government advertising so i asked them have you heard about the concept of chawal pe chopai you go to museums they'll show you a grain of rice is pe itna sara likha hua hai ye wo so that that my term for that is chawal pe chopai <coughs> just you know about i said how many of you read the chopai <laughs> zero i say you go to a bus shelter from from the government it is chawal pe chopai 50 sutra <laughs> program ye wo sab likh rakha hai main wahan baithne wala hu ek minute this has been my pet peeve with the uh... these uh, public bank 
बिलबोर्ड्स विच एडॉन यू नो आउटडोर्स वो पूरा को पूरा प्रोस्पेक्टस छाप देते हैं कि हमारी पीपीटी की स्लाइड हम वाइट वाइट स्पेसेस एंड पॉजेस इन ऑडियो विजुअल आर मैजिकल स्पेसेस टू बी यूज्ड दे आर नॉट प्लेसेस टू बी फिल्ड अप बिकॉज़ यू हैड 30 सेकंड इसमें भर दीजिए अभी सो आई एम द रिसीवर यार आई हैव सम रिस्पेक्ट फॉर मी but i just have one follow on uh, as you said storytelling and the concepts and basics of it don't change but the mediums through which you tell and they're actually getting richer uh, in fact yeah. right then everything the is an opportunity how does a storyteller upgrade themselves on the skill because i assume that when you think of the story you also think of the medium through which it will be told again be i than years over if i'm If I have an idea in today's day, I will not discard that idea. I'll call some young guys and say, "Yeah, ये मैं सोचता था हो नहीं सकता हो सकता क्या?" And they will say, "Yes, I can do it like this, and I can put it on that." So it's a. It, this is not an opportunity. What is an opportunity? We have to embrace technology, but never be a slave of technology. Your mind. to use the technology is uh, the biggest and the most who created technology our minds created technology so don't lose respect for what you have acquired uh, to this date not just from your family but your friends your locality the world and then use it in your own way storytelling has not changed for thousands of years why do you st- people still see Ramayan in various avatars. Why do they make a Karan Arjun in modern scenario? So there were great stories. There are great stories, and if you think of a fresh story which can touch hearts, of course, why not? Wow! Wow! Oh, thank you, sir. Don't How lose do, that. Uh, Don't lose sir. that bit. And I'll come to your D two C later on this topic. We'll touch it when it comes. Go ahead, sir. Talk about it. See, in your note that I got. You know things like he now you have a interaction. Never forget the meaning of interaction. <clears throat> And then I go back to what I said to you earlier. That don't be a transactional guy only. Like one of the things in the note was that we can make quick changes to what the consumer needs. What is your current process of doing it? Tell me. I'm asking you uh, of making a changing in a communication, sir. And uh, responding to the consumer when so, they say, "Mujhe aisa acha lagta hai." So we change, sir. Okay, I'll give you the example, then you'll get it. Sir, sir. So I say to you uh, that you made these devices, sir. Peabody. Could uh, Peabody? Could we have something of this? So what is your response? So we usually say yes. We work on it, sir. Now, I think you must have a system, and I'm going to get you to spend some money, sir. which is have a very dedicated and proper team. If I ask for something, which maybe as a naive person, I ask a question, answer naive questions also. Write to that person and say, "Sir, your suggestion, but you see, there is a problem in this. I'll explain it to you. Or this is a good idea. I can't give it to you tomorrow, but I'm working on it. But the negatives have to be answered also. Or say, no, this is what you're saying is a wishful thinking, but it will disturb the pattern of society. When you are talking one on one." then your communication with them should be one on one on issues which are beyond the question this is the best advice i can give you um, that and don't get some joker to answer it is not good enough for me to call up dish tv and 20 people call me we are attending are yaar you are disturbing either attend or don't talk either address or don't talk too much give me one call after the work and say hope you are happy finished so uh, 
the key point of this, uh, what I'm trying to share with you, is when you say, I interact, then take the word interact very, very seriously and in a dedicated fashion. So, I'll take you up on that offer, sir, on of that. Deep, session. I actually have a, sorry, I have a follow on to that. That's Go a ahead. very interesting point. And it's been a, you know, something that I think of a lot that brands are not just built through ads, right? Like that's just one place where you touch the consumer, your consumer care lines, the way the promoter in the store talks to you, the way a package uh, comes to you when you order. Uh, Piyuji, in your work and in your time, like, how, do you like do you find people asking you to help them with the entirety of it, uh, or or with just ads advertising? No, like, or if I may add, sir, or or is that how you approach this anyway? Yeah, no, like um, when we did the the launching of ICICI back, we designed it right to their counter. If you're saying this, you must look like this. So this is a very famous um, line, which was in one of the addresses that Shelley Lazarus, ex-CEO of Ogilvy, she wrote that we must build brands like birds make nests. Every scrap, every tinka, everything must tie in together. Down to the line of saying, if you get a phone call and you have an operator, whatever the systems are today, who takes the call must sound like the brand, brand's personality. So the answer to your question is yes, whatever you do. You see, forget advertising word. The word is communication. Communication is when I talk to you. Communication is when I talk to you on the phone. Communication is when I say hello to you like I have to my many friends today saying Eid Mubarak. All that is communication. All that is affinity. All that is brand love. Brilliant. So, so well, golden nuggets. When should a new age, digitally native, young brand, you know, like ours, think of approaching a creative agency such as yourself, sir? What stage do you think? Is there a stage uh, where you say, this is when we usually look at that? Because sir, this problem needs to be solved. Right at the word go, right? And today's day, there is no date, there's no age. If mm -hmm. you are putting out a brochure, a leaflet, that's your communication. Right. You need somebody who truly as a partner tells you, yeah, this is your brand. Our brochure should not be like any, any other leaflet. Everyone will throw it away. Mm -hmm. It must speak our language. It must have something that makes him say, 10 leaflets came to me in the newspaper today. But this one I want to read. Absolutely. So you, the element of design, the element of personality can be for a chaiwala who talks to you in a certain fashion, can be for a brochure, can be for mass communication, can be in everything. So when do you need it is um, when you Think like this. Then you say, okay, I can't afford yeah. one big name. Let me get some two, three young designers from NID. Let so, me get them freelance. And then slowly you will have the wherewithal to say, I can do more. So look at the role of um, affinity and brand love. And I laugh sometimes at Google and all, when they say you must do those thumb stoppers and you must do seven seconders. I say, hello, who launched you? I bloody launched you. <laughs> with, with Google reunion, a, a two minute film. You remember the partition one? That was search. But the way you did the search, you won so many hearts. And look at Amazon itself. They do quite a lot of that work. And the work that they do for Rakhi is, my boys wrote it, but I sometimes say, I wish I'd written it. It's magic. So no matter what medium you use, don't lose the heart. Because going back to category, this, that, 
اس کو چھونے کے دس طریقے ہیں Amazing. Actually, another follow on to that, uh, uh, you touched upon this saying, ki, you know, if you do, don't have the money to afford a star, shuru mein just get a designer and get it done. Uh, actually, it's quite a trend nowadays that a lot of new age brands through equity partnerships, etc. are getting stars on board a lot earlier in their life stage than others. Uh, but I've always wondered, are... Are all brands supposed to have stars? Like, like, or is there a distinction between these are the kind of brands who should not think you of? You snatched my question, Shashank. <laughs> uh, so my, I, I, I named a chapter in my last book called Do You Want to Be a Flea in the Tale of a Winning Racehorse? Wow. So a star will not make your brand. Your storytelling will. If you think you'll become famous, I'm sick and tired of seeing IPL these days. Everything is a, is a celebrity. And if that was not enough, there are three of them in one. If that was not enough, there is five faces of the same bugger. There are 10 ads on double rolls because I think they think that 20 second may 40 second come as a showing him twice. So don't get fooled. Get your story right. I don't write, if I ever write a movie, I will not write it with Amitabh Bachchan in mind. I will write it for a role and then say, yeah, Amitabh Bachchan will add magic to this role. Get your process right. It's, uh, it's idiotic for people to, to definitely start with a star and then say, Fir Kani Likunga. And when you do this, you find stars who give you three hours time They're not bothered about your project. When you approach a star who says, yeah, let's discuss the story. When I speak to Mr. Bachchan, we discuss the script. We, I change the script in my listing. Sometimes when I've changed it from what he said, he'll come back and tell me, no, no, Piyush, what you said the first time was right. So if you get a star who doesn't think that he's a star, if you get a star who says, I am his or her partner for the next, this period. And if you have a story that makes, uh, that your work gets improved by the star, that is a pattern. You can't say, I am launching the launch, so let's go to 5 crore. That is, that is when I feel that such people do your business of startups a big disfavor. Because then people like me say, Baap ka paisa hai to aise nahi uđa tha. Funding ka paisa hai na, uđa raha hai. You don't need that when you're doing serious business. Wow. How did it? We have some more time. Or uh, I, Shishan, we're going to take the last question and then maybe we could wrap up. Yeah. Actually, last question uh, for a lot of I assume the audience for this is going to be a lot of new age brand founders uh, who I think struggle with both, uh, you know, in the early days, it's about survival. It's about uh, brands in the rakhna hai, companies in the rakhni hai, uh, brand building ka time aayega, karenge, abhi pehle dhanda karte hai, abhi maal beste hai pehle. No, wrong, wrong. <laughs> How would you, the... my, that's my question. How would you advise them no, to think about simple. brand? Yeah, go back to the basics. ایک چائے والے نے دکان کھولی اور لیٹس گو ٹو سموسا اس کے تو شام کو خراب ہو جائیں گے سو دھندا بڑھے گا بائی یور ایبلٹی ٹو ٹرائی اینڈ سیل دیٹ دین یو ول میک مور برانڈ بلڈنگ کا ٹائم ڈے ون پہ چالو ہوتا ہے میں اگر جاتا ہوں اور سبجی والا کھڑا ہے اور چنا جور گرم لیٹس ٹیک چنا جور گرم ٹین گائے اسٹینڈنگ بائی اینڈ لارج دا سیم پروڈکٹ ون گائے ٹاکس ٹو یو ان این ایکسائٹنگ فیشن ہی سنگ لٹل سانگ یو اسپینڈ نو منی بٹ ہی از کریٹیڈ از اون سانگ یو ٹرائی اینڈ گو ٹو ہم سو ایوری تھنگ از برانڈ بلڈنگ آئی واز ڈرائیونگ فرام ڈیلی ٹو And from Jaipur, Delhi. There are a whole lot of these places. Everyone's called kings. So, look at brand building. 
किंग्स का था लिखा हुआ एक एक ने अपना नाम को सुपर किंग किया एक ने किंग है उसका लिखा था किंग्स ढाबा शुद्ध स्वादिष्ट और वो <laughs> खाना तो उसका काम ही होता है ना वॉट इज दिस उसने नेक्स्ट वाले ने लिखा हुआ था किंग्स का खाना नहीं खाया तो क्या खाना खाया आई वेंट देर मैंने कहा ये इंटरेस्टिंग आदमी है तो दैट ब्रांड बिल्डिंग इज इज इन वन लाइन ब्रांड बिल्डिंग इज इन वन वे यू से आई रिमेम्बर योर नेम आई एम गोइंग देर एंड चाय वाले ने कहा अरे पांडे जी चाय नहीं पी आज मेरी एक तो पी के जाओ दैट इज ब्रांड बिल्डिंग Nothing else. Jab, when you have more money, you spend more money. But if you used to think like a brand builder from day one. Amazing, Deep. I'm done. I have so much to sit and ruminate <coughs> about that. <laughs> I'm done with my question. And one last thing which I wanted to speak to you about was purpose. Yeah. So, never misuse purpose. Never try and ride on purpose. if you have something that you do sincerely then use purpose because consumers again are not a moron she is your wife david ogil be said ya tum zabardasti emotionally blackmail karoge he will bad mouth you to 100 other people anything negative spreads faster so never everyone talks about purpose If I'm selling you a little mithai, and I say no, and it is good for your health also. I mean, hello, yar. You are selling a mithai. I will sell it to you, saying, "Have this mithai. You will get a lot of joy out of this taste." If you are selling a protein-based thing like you are, then say that the purpose of this is not to do masti. It is nice masti. This is do good and um, be good. का बैलेंस है बी ऑनेस्ट यू यू आर पुटिंग योर इंग्रेडिएंट्स यू आर बीइंग ऑनेस्ट सो आई आई रियली वांटेड टू से बिकॉज़ एवरीवन सेज कैन आई यूज सम पर्पस बट आई सेड डू यू हैव अ पर्पस देन देन वी विल पुट सम पर्पस थैंक यू सो मच पीयूष जी गॉड ब्लेस यू दिस इज अलाउ मी टू थैंक यू प्रॉपर्ली सर दिस इज आई मीन uh the fan moment for both of us you know here absolutely. has been an absolute absolute honor speaking to you sir and you know you know we are all fan of your work and i'm sure Since you know you have to listen any such exercise sir. is either a revision for me of my thoughts or i'll go back learning from you guys so i enjoyed it so no thanks uh, do well and create magic hi nice, sir you were just too kind sir now i would love to thank uh, amazon also amazon uh, sambo for giving us this opportunity we are branch to build there thankful uh, to amazon for bringing you us to us on one on one i'm sure all the d2c brands will love to create some iconic brands that you have with you looking at these insights sir thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you all thank you amazon thank you youngsters of today and tomorrow and forever god bless you Oh